Hello Spirit Squad, this is Pixie from Pixie Moons and I have to say welcome back and I have to say welcome back to myself because I have been away for a few weeks I had things to sort out in my personal life we've all been there but now I'm back and I hope I can be back more often for you guys because I missed you I decided to switch things up a little bit as you saw no drastic changes but just some changes here and there that will keep on happening because evolution so I decided to come on here real quick and talk to you about this new moon in Cancer I'm going to talk about Cancer itself the sign then I'm going to do like an overview of personality quick focus on this new moon which is not a solar eclipse by the way not like the other one a little ritual for those times this is summer after all so you will see you will understand um, crystals and herbs an affirmation yes this time I will not do a pick a pack because I am not in that energy to be perfectly honest with you and I've been called to do something else so I uh, will give you a quick Reiki session if that's okay with you if you're not into that that's fine you can click away you can skip that part so without further ado let's get into it so the sign of cancer is a water sign same as Scorpio and Pisces it is a cardinal sign cardinal signs are starters and leaders it's a passive or feminine or yin sign same as all the water and earth signs cancer season runs from the 21st of June to the 22nd of July the symbol for cancer is of course the crab I don't know how to do crap. In Korea they do like this, which I think is very cute. Cancer rules the fourth house of roots, family and nurturing, real estate, and it is ruled by the moon. So this new moon is going to be right at home in the sign of Cancer. Associated deities are Diana, Artemis, Selene, and Cancer is represented in the tarot by the chariot. Cancer rules the chest, the stomach, and the womb, nurturing, like I was saying, the mother. And the Archangel associated with the sign of Cancer is Archangel Gabriel. A quick overview of the personality of Cancer. Cancerians are very caring, protective, nurturing people. The shadow side is that they can be moody, they can be also needy, kind of clinging, obsessed with safety and security, and sometimes lack directness. They can't overexpress themselves but kind of beat around the bush because they are um, they're concerned that it will hurt somebody. Famous cancerians rip robin williams of course french playwright jean cocteau if you guys have heard of him if not then you're welcome <laughs> singer songwriter lana del rey of course <laughs> she's like a typical cancer uh the winner of season nine of all the dragons sash of the law what is happening during this new moon in Cancer and why do we have a second new moon in Cancer? Because I'm pretty sure some of you have been wondering. The Sun and the Moon are sitting next to each other, so this is a conjunction. This second new moon is called a double moon or double new moon. The first new moon occurred on the 21st of June to open Cancer season. And we also had a solar eclipse on that day, if you remember. So it, this is the first moon, or new moon in Cancer that we had for a while. There is not an eclipse. 
eclipse season is not over we're still going to have eclipses towards the end of the year but this particular new moon is not one of them and we're having a new moon a second new moon because the first new moon like i said started cancer season it was there early so four weeks later we are closing cancer season it's another new moon again if the new moon had been a few days later then this new moon would have been in the sign of leo but it's not so that's why we get that little bit of extra magic it is a new moon in a water sign like i was saying so it's a good time to connect to your intuition and your emotions as well get in touch with that sit with that for a bit and get comfortable with it a big theme for this new moon is reparenting ourselves taking care of that inner child like i was saying because it is cancer season can you say that you cater to your inner child if so how would you do it if not how would you do it and also it's the time to start paying attention to the way you talk to yourself or the way you talk about yourself what kind of discourse do you have um building works outside you guys there's nothing i can do but just go with it because it's all day every day so unless i do this video at three in the morning and even then and even then for this moon magic video we also get on patreon uh new moon in cancer journal prompts new moon in cancer tarot spread a closer look at the moon we quickly talk about the sign of cancer and we also talk about Lilith because the moon Lilith this is what you can expect if you are a patron that's the kind of light reading I'm gonna be giving you guys I decided to go with a sun tea recipe slash ritual since it is summer for some of you <laughs> watching me right now I decided to go with a nice sun tea but it doesn't have to be summer you don't have to wait for summer to appreciate that all you need to have is tea and a little bit of sun about eight bags depending on the, the container you're going to use and how much water you're going to put in it anywhere from four to eight bags of tea it can be black, it can be fruity, it can be anything you want, you can experiment. Or if you're not into tea bags, if you're not into tea bagging, uh, you can have raspberries or any other fruit, raspberry leaves, mint leaves, orange peels, they are super good, delicious, and a little bit of honey to taste if you are so inclined of course what you will need is a pitcher picture this a pitcher or a jar with a lid you need to put a lid on it alright and I'll say it and what you're gonna do you're going to place your tea bags in your pitcher or jar fill it with water so anywhere between one to two liters I use metric you guys I don't know anything about ounces or quarts or whatever you guys use where you live I use metric it's just simpler for me so as you're pouring your water focus on your intention your intention can be anything um, I'd like to be less anxious. I'd like my skin to be more glowing. I'd like to feel more confident. Things like that. Once you are done with that, you seal your pitcher, your jar, and place it in the sun for about two to three hours or more. If you are so inclined, if you really like strong brews, you can leave it for up to five hours, I believe. After that time has elapsed, place it in the fridge. If you like a strong flavor, you can leave the tea bags in and enjoy. And while you're drinking your tea, I always advise people to just do one thing. Even if it's five minutes a day, 
just to help you ground, just to help you clear your mind, just focus on this one thing. So enjoy your tea, think about your intention, look around you, if you can go out, if you have a backyard, if you have a garden, and you can enjoy your tea in nature, do that and listen to the sounds of nature, enjoy the smells of nature, or you can even, I'm seeing um, a trail, like go on a hike, bring, bring a thermos or bring like a flask with you and enjoy your tea on your hike. If you're camping or something, you can also do that. And just enjoy this thing that you made for yourself. And hopefully it would taste good. <laughs> if not, um, add a little bit more honey. If you try it, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Crystals and herbs to work with on this new moon in Cancer. Very quick list. As far as stones, crystals go, we have emerald, pearl, opal, those are the main ones. As far as plants and herbs go, we have aloe, right, healing, yeah, sage, clearing, purifying, beautiful, bay, bay leaves, protecting and parsley and an affirmation we can work on for this new moon ink oh my god sorry guys it, it jumped directly on the mic as you heard if this is not spirit coming through i don't know what is if i need to show up for anyone today let it be me if you need to show up for anybody first and foremost today show up for yourself show up and that doesn't mean oh if somebody pisses you off like just clap back yeah. although you could but it's just being there um, holding space for yourself holding space for your feelings, acknowledging your feelings, validating your emotions. It's so easy to be quick and sweep things under the rug because we don't have time or we don't really want to deal with those things. But actually, it's more rewarding and valuable to sit with your emotions, however uncomfortable they may feel at first, and get comfortable with them. Give space to yourself. Give time to yourself. Spend time with yourself. And spend some quality time with yourself. Listen to what you want to do. Listen to what your body is telling you as well. If you need to rest, please rest. Remember to drink lots of water, especially in this cancer season. Have a long bath. Put on some music. Light some candles. Have some essential oils. Lavender ready, Epsom salts, to really treat yourself. Think about what you would do if one of your relatives or friends needed like a pick-me-up or needed some TLC, what would you do for them? And do that for you. So that's all I have for you and now we're going to move on to the Reiki part of this video. Stay tuned. Today, Spirit's called. I'm not going to do a pick a card. I wanted to switch things up and do something a little bit different because I've been caught to. So I thought I would go ahead and do a quick Reiki session for all of us. My intention is that this energy session reaches you well and works with you over the next few days and that the energy goes where it needs to be and that it works anytime or and every time you're watching this video so this is for 
all you can um, you can go ahead and say I am ready to receive or uh, think it silently in your head what I would also like to do because I've seen uh, another youtuber do it another Reiki master and I forgot her channel name I think it's Reiki Healing Hope I will put a link in the box and what she does is that she says a quick prayer before starting and I thought that was a very good idea and I was inspired by that so last night I went ahead and wrote my prayer uh, which is not a a religious prayer by the way it's a spiritual prayer to connect us all together so with your permission I would like to go ahead and say my prayer before I start all right you can close your eyes keep your eyes open you can you can lie down you can sit down Whatever feels comfortable with you, I'm going to go ahead and start. Connecting to Mother Gaia, Father Sky, all angels, archangels, fairies and spirit animals, ascended masters, teachers and guides, ancestors, the universe and spirit itself. Asking you to help us remember to enjoy the present moment, to help us remember our true nature, to help us remember our soul's purpose, asking you to help us ground ourselves and manifest exactly what we deserve in divine timing and for everyone's highest and greatest good. Asking you to send us the energies of the seas, of the forests, of the mountains, the sun, moon and stars, so that we remain strong and healthy, protected and anointed, in touch with our emotions, intuition and higher self, always and forever. And so it is. It needs clearing. There are a lot of things going on at the moment. to your heart chakra to help with the healing in this new moon in cancer but after any time you watch this video clearing anything that's blocking your crown chakra anything that's blocking your third eye Removing any fog, any kind of fogginess in the experience, helping you see things clearly and clarity. Clearing your throat chakra, the seat of self expression. You may express yourself with more intent, with 
more clarity convey your ideas across with more confidence as well opening the heart chakra allowing yourself to love more starting with yourself solar plexus area. To help generate more confidence. To help you step into your power. Do not be afraid to shine your light in the world because that's what you're here for. your sacral chakra, the seat of creativity. If there is something you have been thinking about doing, whether it's a hobby or a big change in your life, your intuition is nudging you to go ahead with it. Find the time to connect with that. I believe most of the time it's going to be something that you enjoyed doing as a child, as a teenager, whatever it was, whatever you're thinking of right now, it's that thing, that thing where you get lost, you lose track of time, uh, you get lost in a good way, you get lost in the zone, in the flow of things into your, your root chakra which talks about your basic needs your safety you are safe know that you are safe you're grounded you're protected Peace and masters are with you. You are blessed. You are anointed. You are golden. Nothing can touch you at this moment in time. It's beautiful energy. Clearing any blockages experience. You can start it from the bottom. We say cool. So hard. Throat. Third eye. And crown. Gonna go ahead and fluff your aura. I'm getting this really nice uh, pink, like cotton candy color. For some, for others, I'm getting like a baby blue. So it's very peaceful and innocent. I'm going to go ahead and close this quick Reiki session for you guys. So let me know what you thought of it. I hope it was um, relaxing at least. And 
hope it gave you some sort of relief that made you feel a little bit better if you are not feeling top form already remember you create your own reality you can choose to be happy it's always a good day and some days are just excellent days excellent so i leave you with some of my uh, elated <laughs> energy i'm always happy to be with you guys and I wish you a, an awesome day and night and I can't stop and remember you are supported, you are protected and you are divinely guided and until I see you again, bye!